Hey, what's going on guys? It's Frolix here, bringing you another video on the channel. In today's video, guys, I am gonna be showing you the best glitches you can do in GTA 5 Online, starting from the very, very bottom when you have absolutely no money in GTA 5 Online, all the way to when you guys do have some money. And doing these glitches, you guys can actually get to doing the best glitch on this list. Of course, you can make around $3 million every couple of minutes. But just before we get started into today's video, be sure to go down below in the description and check out Digazani. You guys can get 10% off GTA 5 cash and rank packages. Trust me, they are one of the best GTA 5 suppliers that you can use in GTA 5 online. And also guys, don't forget to enter the 10 days of giveaways by following me on all social medias you guys see on screen. There's not anything else you guys gotta do to enter, just follow me on there. Some of the giveaways will be on those platforms. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get it started. So guys, pretty much like I said at the beginning, these glitches you guys can do from when you have legitimately no money, from when you're just starting the game, all the way up to when you guys have some money. And don't forget, every single one of these glitches you see on this list is working 110%. I've tested them all out today, and they also work as of December 26th, 2019. So I'm going to have every single requirement you need for each glitch on screen when we start the glitch off. So starting with the first glitch, now this is one that you guys can actually do without any requirements. Like I said, this is the first one you guys want to do to make some money so you can build up to being able to do the next glitch on this list, which requires a little bit of money, but you only need one thing. So this glitch is going to be the casino slot machine glitch. Now, the reason I'm suggesting you guys do this glitch, if you're brand new to the game and you have no money, or if you're not new and you guys just want some money and you're just completely broken GTA 5, you don't need anything at all. All you need is 50,000 chips minimum. So to start off this glitch, what you guys are going to want to do is of course have around 50,000 chips. You can have all the way up to 200,000 chips and it will still work. What you guys want to do is come over to the diamond miner and sit down at this slot machine, click max bet and start spinning. Now there's two outcomes. You can either win or you can lose. Let's say you guys win. So you guys can see I'm spinning right here and I suggest continuously spinning until you spend at least around 100,000 chips, maybe more. I've done it before and it still works if, when I've spent around 120,000 chips. So spend around 100, 150K and you guys should be good. Let's say you guys win. When you guys do win, you guys can see I won 125K chips. You only wanna do this if you end up winning and you have more chips now than you did when you started. You wanna stand up and change something on your character's outfit. So you guys can see I'm standing up. I'm just gonna go change my glasses. Look in the bottom right corner. You guys see that little orange loading circle? That's what you guys want to see. Now let's say you guys do this again. And when you guys are spinning, you just spend all of your chips and you don't win anything. When I say don't win anything, you could win 5K a couple of times. But if you don't win anything, what you wanna do is disconnect from the internet or you guys can close the application and restart it without standing up again. And if you do that, you'll spawn back in with all your chips. Now, like I said at the start, let's say you did this with 100K. Right when you sit down, you win the one diamond, which is 5K. And now you have 102,000 chips. What you guys want to do is because you have more than what you started with, you want to stand up and switch something on your outfit. Let's say you started and you didn't win anything until you got to 90,000 chips, for instance. Then you won and now you're at 92,000. Don't save the game because you don't have as much chips than you started with. So just keep on spinning. And if nothing happens and you don't win anything big, disconnect from the internet, close the application. You'll come back in with the chips that you started with. Like I said, though, let's say you spin all the way down to 50K and then you just keep spinning and boom, at 50K, you end up winning 700,000 chips. Stand up, switch something on your character. So you'll see the orange loading circle in the bottom right corner. Sit back down and then you guys are good to keep going again. Spend around 100K chips. If you don't win anything, close the application, disconnect from the internet. If you do, stand up and switch something on your character's outfit. And from there, you guys are good. What you want to do is continuously do this glitch until you have around 1.5 million chips. Trust me, it sounds like a lot, but if you just win the triple diamonds once, that's $1.25 million right there. And the best part is you will never lose a single dime doing this glitch. So no matter what, no, if you just keep doing it, it's just 100% you're going to be getting profit. So I definitely suggest doing this glitch first if you guys have no money. You guys can also see in the top right, I still have the chips that I started with after around 120,000 chips. So anyways, once you guys have around 1.5 million chips, after doing this glitch, you guys are ready to start the next one. So for the second glitch, you guys have two options. You can either have 1.5 million chips and save a bit of money. It will take a little longer to do the glitch, but if you wanna spend a tiny bit more, what I suggest doing is buying the blackjack table inside of your casino pentos. You will need to have a casino pentos, which is why I said save up 1.5 million chips by doing the previous glitch, and you guys can start doing this one. Now don't forget, this isn't the best glitch on this list. This is just the next one you guys are gonna to wanna to do. You guys don't actually need to have the blackjack table like I said, you can also use the ones in the high stakes lounges inside the casino. Anyways, to start off this glitch, what you guys are going to want to do is sit down at the blackjack table and bet 50,000 chips. From there, you guys just want to win. So pretty much, 
play the game, and if you don't win, disconnect from the internet or close the application. So you guys are going to see here that I am playing throughout the game, and I'm going to decide, you know what, I'm going to stand because I don't want another card. The point of the game is to get as close as you can to 21 or get 21 on the dot. So you guys can see I didn't end up winning, so I just go ahead and close the application. And then once you guys do close the application or disconnect from the internet, just start it back up, and then you guys will be coming back inside of GTA 5. So I showed you there that I closed the application, come back inside, start up an invite-only lobby, load back inside the casino, and you guys are going to notice that I still have the exact same amount of chips that I did, and I didn't lose anything. I still have my 690,000 chips. So you want to sit down again, play again, and what you want to do is just try to win. So you guys can see I won 125k because I did get blackjack. So like I said, you want to switch something on your character just like the last glitch. So just change the glasses or something. You guys can see I lost there. So I disconnected from the internet, connected again. You load back, you'll get an alert in GTA 5. And then of course you guys will be returned to story mode. Start up an invite only, go back into GTA 5 online. You'll have the exact same amount of chips that you had before. Like I said, every time you win in Blackjack, what you want to do is save something on your character's outfit. So change the glasses, the mask or the hat, something easy like that. Wait for the orange loading circle and then you guys should be good to start playing again. If you lose, close the application, disconnect from the internet right away, go back into the game, and you guys will still have all of the chips that you guys had when you started doing this. You won't lose a single dime doing this either, which is why it's perfect, and it's better than the previous glitch because you guys can actually make more, and the amount of return that you will get is honestly better because you have a higher chance of winning each time. So you guys can see here, I managed to win another 100k, so I'm gonna stand up again, and I'm just gonna switch something on my outfit, just go ahead and change your outfit if you wanted to as well, or just switch something like the glasses, hat, or mask. Anyways, if you guys don't know how to play blackjack, like I said, you guys want to get to 21 or close to 21. Now, there's also other things you can do known as splitting or also doubling down. So I'm going to go through that with you guys right now. When you guys double down, it's pretty much when you bet another 50,000 chips or whatever you guys are betting. Like I said before, bet 50k because you will get the highest amount of return. So what you want to do when you actually double down is you only get to do it once. Once you do it, you can no longer request more cards. So you want to double down if you are already at the number 13. Now the reason I say that is because you guys actually have a really high chance of winning. So you guys are gonna see here, I'm gonna bet, and I bet 50K and I get two cards, and I believe I am at 14 right here. I decide I'm gonna double down. So I double down, I get one more card, and boom, look at that, $200,000 because I won. So now you made 100K instead of 50K, so obviously it's a much better profit. Now there is another option and it's called splitting. Now this is my personal favorite. I love splitting. Whenever you get the chance, I suggest doing it. So when you guys are betting, and let's say you have two of the same cards, which is two tens, and I also think you can do it with two eights, two fives, two sixes, whatever. You guys can see I have two tens. It actually now turns into two separate hands and you can now bet on both of those hands. So now you have 100K on the table. Don't forget, if you lose, disconnect, close the application. You guys can see I actually got really high numbers on both of them that are extremely close to 21, which is perfect. You guys can see the dealer is now flipping over their cards, and I actually do end up winning another 200,000 chips, and that's amazing. So of course you stand up, switch something on your outfit, and boom, there's another $100,000 plus the amount that you actually bet. So you actually make a total of 100K each time you do that, which is perfect. Now there is one more option, and it's very, very rare for this to happen, but it can, and you can make up to 400k off of one hand. And this is called the double down split. That's just what I personally call it. Let's say you do this. You decide to go ahead and split the cards. So now you have two tens on each side. Let's just say that. And then from there, what you guys actually do is you get a two and a three. So now you're at 13 and 12. If you double down on one and double down on the other one, you now have 200,000 chips total bet on the table. And if you win, you win 400k. Like I said, it's a lot harder to actually come across this because you do have to split it first by getting two of the same cards and then doubling down if you get two low cards right after that. And then, of course, getting close to 21. But if you guys do get that option, you will win up to 400k. Anyways, enough about this glitch. It's already gone on for nine minutes. Let's get into the next one. And this one you will need a little bit more money from. Now, currently, you can also get something on sale about 500k off. But if you're watching this about a week from now when it was uploaded, you'll need around $2.5 million minimum to do this glitch. So to do this glitch, you guys are going to need a couple of things. One, an apartment with a heist office. So, of course, everyone has that in the game because Rockstar gives that to you for free now. You're also going to need a bunker, and you're also going to need an MOC with a personal vehicle storage. Now, to get the bunker and the MOC, it costs $2.5 million, roughly probably around $2.6 million. And that's also with the upgrades that you need to do this glitch, which is simply just to have the personal vehicle storage in the MOC. 
you're also going to want to have a personal vehicle that you want to duplicate. Now I suggest the EC Classic or you can also use literally any other vehicle if you don't have enough money to buy those. But in total, I would suggest having at least around 3.5 million, even 3 million, just so you guys have enough to upgrade the vehicle. Don't worry because the actual sell value for these vehicles is going to be fairly high. So you're gonna make your money back a lot faster than you actually do from the blackjack glitch, which is awesome. Anyways, to start the glitch, you guys are gonna to wanna to be in free aim. You're gonna to wanna to go inside your bunker and have a car you want to duplicate inside of there, inside the back of your MOC, which is of course your personal vehicle storage. Now make sure you guys are in free aim because it is fairly crucial for this glitch. What you guys want to do is just hop inside of the vehicle that you're duplicating. Like I said, it could be any vehicle that you want. I suggest using a Benny's vehicle or an Arena War Workshop vehicle, but if you don't have enough and you're just starting off in the game, I suggest using an LG RH8, fully upgrade it, and then duplicate those, and they will sell for 250 k every time. Now, this glitch does not take too long, but it kind of does take a little while to get the perfect hit. I suggest doing the next glitch if you guys really want to do it quickly, but we'll get into that in just a couple minutes. What you want to do is park the vehicle that you want to duplicate super close to the MOC so you guys do get the alert that says, do you want to store this vehicle inside of your personal vehicle storage? You want to make sure you get that alert because when you do this glitch, you will no longer be able to drive the vehicle. The only way to get inside the back of your MOC after that will be to click right on the D-pad. So make sure you get that alert. I don't suggest driving super close, but also don't drive too far away because the vehicle may end up getting teleported back to its parking spot inside of the bunker. So next, leave your bunker and do the job teleport glitch. Now to do this glitch, you wanna go find a job on the map and click join. From there, you wanna find someone that's in a different targeting mode in your communities or on your friends list and join them as well. And then from there, you'll get two alerts. One, are you sure you want to join? And two, do you wanna change your targeting mode? From there, what you wanna do is just deny the last alert and you should spawn near your apartment. Now, of course, you don't have to do that, but I do suggest it because you'll get there faster. If you want to drive there, all you guys are going to have to do is just make sure you do not call in a personal vehicle. Anyways, you want to walk inside the heist room and go to apartment style, click on any of them and just click preview. From there, what you guys are going to want to do is it will go to a black screen and then you guys are going to notice the apartment style has changed to something else. From there, what you want to do is go find someone that's in a different targeting mode in your communities or on your friends list or just anyone that's in GTA 5 and which is why, of course, you want to be in free aim. From there, you want to join them and then don't accept the first alert. You just want to join them once again to make sure they're in that targeting mode. And what should end up happening is when you join the second time, it will pop up with a different alert saying, do you want to change your targeting mode? What you want to do is just deny that alert. Then that's perfect. Use that person to do this glitch. So what you want to do from here is preview the apartment style. From there, what you want to do is join the person. The second you guys get the first alert, click right on the D-pad to access the heist planning board. Then from there, what you want to do is accept the first alert. Then you guys will get the second alert, deny it, and then you'll be looking at the heist planning board. From there, click circle and then just walk around. And if you guys don't have a mini map, you guys hit it correctly. You guys can see I'm trying it in the video. And like I said, it is kind of hard to hit this glitch, but don't worry, the next couple on this list are actually amazing. So you guys are gonna see here, I do it correctly. And when I actually spawn back in, you'll notice that I don't have a mini map. So I accept the first alert, deny the second. I'm looking at the board, I click circle, and then I'm walking around with no mini map, no HUD, no nothing, which is perfect. Now from here, you just wanna leave and just walk outside into the main area of your apartment. And what you wanna do is the job teleport glitch. Now you guys are going to have to do it this time. Now you don't have to have any specific garages. You just need to have any garage in the game. It does not matter what it is. And you want to have a free elegy in it. You want to job teleport to that glitch. So I'm gonna be using my arcade for instance. You don't need an arcade, do it with any garage, but I'm gonna use my arcade garage. You wanna find a job that's near your garage. From there, it'll say the job is no longer available when you try to start it. So just click options again and go and try to start the same job and it should start up again. And then from there, you wanna start up the job as normal. And then of course, when it loads, you wanna go and join that person by clicking join, accept the first alert, deny the second alert. And then once you guys do that, you'll notice the game just kind of glitches and then boom, you guys spawn there, which is perfect. That's exactly what you want to happen. Now you'll know the glitch is working correctly if when you're trying to run, you can only run at a kind of slow speed. The reason for this is because the game still thinks you're in your apartment. You won't be able to request any vehicles. You won't be able to do anything else. Imagine you're in your apartment, but you're outside. So that's kind of why you're glitched out right now. Now from here is where it gets super, super simple. It's trust me, it's just really easy to do. What you guys wanna do is just run inside that garage where the free elegy is. If you guys don't know where the free elegy is, if you're new to the game, go to Legendary Motorsports and just click sort by price and the elegy will come up showing free. You can also use any other vehicle you don't mind losing. From there, what you wanna do is just hop inside of this vehicle. From here, you just wanna get inside of it and then once you do that, just drive outside. It's literally that simple. You'll spawn outside with no car. If you guys spawn out with a car, you might've messed up with something. By the way, don't just turn off your mini map 
in the heist planning room, that really does not do anything. That's just you just being stupid. Anyways, you'll spawn outside with no car like I did, and then you want to make your way to your bunker. Now, lucky for me, I do have a bunker that is right here. Now, if you guys don't have this bunker, like I said earlier, bunkers right now while I'm making this video are actually 40% off. So I definitely suggest you guys buy this one. If you don't want to buy this one, just make your way to any other bunker. Just don't call in any personal vehicles. What should happen is your vehicle should still be sitting near your MOC. Now, don't forget, you're not going to be able to move it. That's why you guys need this alert here. If you guys notice that the vehicle spawns back in its parking spot at the front of the bunker, something went wrong, the game kind of glitched, and you guys are going to have to do it again. But anyways, you just want to click right on the D-pad to enter inside the mobile operation center. It'll give you that alert saying it is full. Click OK. You guys are going to drive inside, and that is perfect. That's exactly what you guys want to happen. You guys are good to go. You duplicated it. But wait, there's still another step. You're not able to drive. You're still glitched out in the game. So what you guys are going to need to do is get back inside the vehicle and drive it out. You guys will notice you'll spawn inside the parking spot, but you cannot move. You're just stuck there. So what you need to do is actually just get out of the vehicle and try to walk outside of your bunker. Now, it's really easy to fix this. Trust me, it does not take long at all. But we'll go into that in just a second. First, make sure the duplication works. So exit out of your bunker. Now, either call your mechanic up to see if the vehicle is there or just walk back inside of the garage that you guys had. So I'm going to be walking inside of my arcade garage again. And you'll notice that LG that is there is actually replaced with the EC, which is what I'm using, or the vehicle that you guys did duplicate. You guys can see the LG was in that corner over there, and now it's an EC. Now, don't forget, the vehicle that is sitting right in front of me here is actually the original. Don't sell this vehicle. Sell the one that is inside of your MOC, inside of your bunker. That one's a duplicate. If you guys do actually end up selling your original and duplicate the duplicate over and over, you're actually not going to be able to sell it once you duplicate it, I believe, two times. It'll say you're not able to. Anyways, once you're sure the duplication did work, you want to save the game by changing something on your outfit. So go into style, change your hat, your glasses, your mask, whatever, or your outfit, and look for the orange loading circle in the bottom right, like you'll see on screen in just a second. From there, you want to go to creator mode by clicking online and then going to creator. From here, you just want to click options again and go to online and go to invite only. You guys will spawn back into a brand new invite only session by yourself. And then boom, you guys are good to go. You have officially completed the glitch. If you use the vehicle that I used, fully upgraded, you guys will be able to sell it for 1.7 million. If you use the cheapest vehicle in the game, which is the LG, you guys will get 256k every single time you do this glitch, and it only takes a couple of minutes. Now don't forget, the next glitch on this list is actually way better. But anyways, you guys can see that the vehicles are all still there. I have three Future Shock ECs inside of my garage now, and of course, the original one is the one inside of the arcade, and the one that I'm getting into right now is the duplicate. Don't forget, don't duplicate your duplicates. They won't be able to sell after you duplicate it twice, so trust me, don't do that. Always duplicate your original, which is the one that will spawn inside of your garage. Now, the next glitch we're going to get into does cost a little bit more, but trust me, this one will make you way, way, way more money way quicker, and it's way easier to do. There is no timing involved at all, and trust me, it is a lot more worth it. So we're going to get into the prices and requirements in just a second. Now for the final glitch on this list, this is by far the best one to do and the one I suggest doing the most compared to the last one we just did because this one is actually better and will make you more money faster. You need to have an arcade with a garage, an MOC, and a bunker and you're also going to have, have a vehicle that you want to duplicate. Like I said, do the other glitches on the list and I suggest spamming the blackjack one the most until you guys have around 4 million. It should only take you a couple of hours to do. Once you guys do end up having around $4 million and a vehicle that you guys can upgrade, you guys are good to go and ready to start this glitch. Of course, you guys do want to be in free aim, and I suggest being in a solo, invite-only, or a friends-only lobby. Once you guys do have this stuff, you are ready to start the glitch, and trust me, this is the one you guys have been waiting for. This is the best one that you guys can possibly do in GTA 5 Online. Also, when I said around $4 million, that is probably like the cheapest option for this glitch. You guys can spend a little bit more to do it a little faster. Anyways, drive the car you guys are going to want to be duplicating and just drive it outside your MOC. And then you want to go ahead and just park it where I park it in the game. It does not matter as long as it's parked around there. From here, you guys want to make sure you have a free LG. I suggest ordering a bunch of them because you guys can spam this glitch as much as you want. Exit out of your bunker. And then from there, make your way over to the arcade. Now, what I suggest doing is buying the arcade that I have, which is right here. It is a little bit more pricey, but you can do this glitch much faster. Of course, you can also use the job teleport glitch to do this and do it in about the exact same amount of time. It's just this is kind of easier to do. But of course, if you guys don't have the money, buy the cheapest arcade you can do and do the job teleport glitch. From there, what you want to do is make your way inside your arcade and then just open up this door. 
From here, what you want to do is go over to the jukebox. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky, but trust me, take your time with this. There's no timing whatsoever. What you want to do is click right on the D-pad to use the jukebox. Make sure you guys have the first option blurred out, which is, of course, classic rock. It doesn't have to be this, just any one of them. Just make sure you have one of them blurred out. Now, from this point, what you guys are going to need to do is just click circle to back out of that. Now, from here, what you're going to want to do is just click the options button on your controller, which opens up the pause menu. Now, from here, what you're going to need to do is go over to cruise and you just want to go ahead and click on leaderboards. From there, click on the IGN crew, which is the most popular one in the game. From there, click view members. Now, what you want to do here is make sure, of course, you are in free aim and then just click join game on any of the members. It'll say getting online session details. From there, what you're going to need to do is accept the first alert and then deny the second alert. So you guys can see accept the first, deny the second, and boom, you guys should spawn just like this here. Click right on the D-pad again to use the jukebox. Once you guys do this, you want to click options once again and make sure, of course, the classic rock is still blurred out or at least one of the options on this list. From here, you want to click online and go over to criminal enterprise starter pack and then just back out of it. From there, what you need to do is go over to jobs. Once you're at jobs, click play, go to missions, and then once you're in missions, start off a titan of a job. It should say the job is no longer available. That's perfect. Then you should spawn just like this here. Click options again and go to online and then go to purchase chart cards. At this point, you may get an alert or you may go into the menu. Just click OK or back out of the menu and then back out of the options menu. And you guys should be standing there, but you'll notice that the game is glitched now and you now have the option to just walk around with the juke mux menu open, which is perfect. What you want to do is walk downstairs inside of your arcade garage and go into that free elegy that you ordered. Sit inside of it and right when you sit inside of it, just click on any of the stations that you have. You notice your character flies out of the car. From there, just drive forward. You'll see your character spawn next to the car once again, and then you'll spawn outside with no vehicle. It took three minutes to do that. I'm not even joking. It took me three minutes in game to actually do this. And once you've done that, you're pretty much duplicated the car. If you guys have made it to this point in the video, it's pretty clear you guys enjoy the content. So why not just subscribe? Because all of my content is exactly like this. Don't forget, 10 days of giveaways. We're going to be doing a bunch of awesome stuff for that, so stay tuned. Go back to your bunker. Get inside the vehicle. It should still be parked right there. From here, what you need to do is just drive it into the back of the MOC. You guys must get an alert. If you don't get an alert, it will not work. Drive inside the MOC. Click OK on the alert and then boom, you guys are inside the MOC, vehicle is now officially duplicated. From there, just jump back inside of the vehicle, drive it back outside of your MOC, and then drive it outside of your whole bunker. Then from there, of course, this is actually the duplicated copy, so the one inside of your arcade garage is the original. So like I said, duplicate that one. So go back inside your arcade, get inside of that one, and drive it back inside of your bunker, and put that one back inside your MOC, and then just rinse and repeat this glitch. No need to join a new lobby, no need to do anything else. You can do this for hours and hours on end by yourself and duplicate tons of cars. Now, like I said, you want to do this a bunch of times until you have enough to get the EC Classic or the LG Retro Custom because they do actually sell for the most. The LG Retro Custom sells for 900k each time and the EC Classic, when it's duplicated, sells for 1.7. And of course, these are when they are fully upgraded. If you guys are still broke, do it with the LG as much as you can. You'll still make money. Don't even worry. And plus, if you do it with the LG when it sells for 256k every time you duplicate it, you do it for an hour, taking only about three minutes each time to do the glitch. In one hour, you'll make around five million dollars. And then when you do it with these cars, because you'll then have enough to buy it and fully upgrade it, you can make roughly around 34 million dollars every hour. But of course, you're not going to sell each one of these vehicles all at once, because you will end up getting the daily sell limit and you won't be able to sell any vehicles. So what you guys are gonna wanna do from there is just go ahead and sell like five. Do the glitch again so the garage is full before you get off or maybe the next day, sell another five. And don't worry because if you keep selling these every day, you'll be earning more and more money just by doing this glitch and keep doing this until it's patched. What I suggest doing is constantly doing this as much as you possibly can, filling up every single one of your garage spaces with these duplicated vehicles and then when the glitch gets patched, you guys still have a bunch of insured vehicles that you can keep selling. So let's say you do this a hundred times. You have a hundred duped vehicles, you sell five a day, and then boom, you guys are good for like a while. So trust, just do this as many times as you possibly can. This is by far the best glitch on this list. I know it's four million bucks, but if you guys do the glitch as I said previously, which is of course the casino slot one and then the blackjack one, trust me, save up to do this glitch instead of the third glitch on this list, because this one will make you a lot more money a lot faster has no timing involved, no hard steps, easiest glitch I've ever found in GTA 5 to make you guys a ton of money.
Anyways, guys, that is it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, 10 days of giveaways, PSN cards, Xbox Live cards, modded accounts, all that kind of crazy stuff. Follow the social medias you guys saw on screen there so you guys can enter to win those. All you need to do is that. It's that simple. Don't forget to check out Digazani. Link down below in the description for 10% off the best cash and rank packages in GTA 5. Thanks to them, we got a modded account to give away to you guys worth around $200 million. So be sure to go and check them out. Link down below. Like I said, 10% off with code Frolix. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you did enjoy it and I hope this all helped you guys out. I know this was a super long video, but I wanted to make a video for everybody in this game that can make money as fast as they can and try to get to a point where they can make millions and actually have fun in this game for once. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next video.